my daddy passed away a couple weeks after my last video but that was last year hadn't really done a whole lot in the shop so I figured today I'll give you a tour of its current state brought to you by me and Miller Lite let's go All right, beer fridge. Let's go over equipment and just random junk laying around. Cub Cadet, new, good to go. Just charge the battery on it. Kubota stays down at the camp. It busted a uh, passenger side bearing, so I gotta fix that. That guy was chewed into by a squirrel. You can see on the plastics right there. I'm thinking it was a squirrel and ate up all the wiring and all that stuff. Got that guy running however it cuts off randomly not sure what not sure the reason behind that but uh chaos cart way back there the rear axle's messed up on it been thinking about taking the motor off and putting it on something else uh this is the boat my daddy gave me uh it's a 1974 Tomboy. <clears throat> it had that fish finder on there. I put that Lorance up there. Bow mount trolling motor. I got the battery out, the trolling motor battery out somewhere. Uh, uh, 35 horse Evinrude. I got to fix the foot in that. There's a uh, 383 stroker hiding on the floor back there. And also a 305 uh, mini bike, mini bike runs. It's Chinese, whatever, but it's reliable. That four wheeler scavenged. I got this little three wheeler from my cousin. It was kept indoors, so it's it's in really good shape. It's an old Honda three wheeler, ATC 90. Yeah. Uh, push more. Who the hell knows? That guy don't run. That guy just needs a battery. That thing's been on fire. It's a trooper. Yeah, let's see. That quad, we just put a carburetor on it. It caught on fire, so we're trying to get it running, me and Travis. It's, that's his bike. I've been starting it with the big battery charger. We got that guy. Yeah. I really want to work on this guy. But i got to get some shit done. We did the floorboards and everything. A little dusty. I did have, you see around here, there's probably a bunch of glass. There was a light hanging from the ceiling there. And you can see it right there laying across the table. But, damn tree fell behind the shop and hit right there in the corner up there. And just made that light come loose. It was held on by this all through, but shit happens. Oh, there we go. I did build these shelves because the shop was a mess after Daddy died. I got a bunch of stuff that he gave me the week before. And, you know, you got car parts because since I blew the car apart, there's boat stuff. New uh, LED lights. I replaced LED lights in the whole shop. It is so much better. This is the chainsaw graveyard. That one kind of runs. That one kind of runs. That one doesn't run. That one obviously doesn't run. That one doesn't run. And that's an electrical one that... I don't know what the fuck happened to it. It just don't work. And then a blower that doesn't run. <laughs> There's a thing going on around here called fix your broke shit so that guy that guy's brand new and badass that's my new 2020 Yamaha Kodiak 700 EPS power steering special edition with the Warren winch 
I like the 2020 what they did on the colors you know the tan and the black looks really good to me I just washed her today I'll show you a picture of <laughs> me trying to get stuck but what it looked like so far couldn't do it though all right well there's that bike that's my granddaughter's bike as well as that uh, other Yamaha over there can't get spark on that one well, let's see bandsaw uh, don't know what's wrong with it got it from my dad in hopes of fixing it oh there's two weed eaters on the floor right there are unknown uh, yeah that, that's where they sat since I got here Miller welder set up aluminum spool right now got gas right there just haven't done it yet uh, here's a old stick welder that was my dad's this guy I poured the whole, pulled the whole wiring harness out of because I couldn't figure out why it wasn't running there's another snapper that's not running that little tiller's not running heater works both heaters work there's another stick welder that was my wife's granddaddy's just needs the wires fixed uh, there's a little baby tiller that kind of runs and then uh heater works that's good too what else fan works that's that's very important you know we got the welder and the plasma cutter over there next to the table that's always dirty you see the shop is is pretty cluttered uh, let's see what else we got one more corner to go through we got batteries that are pretty much all junk and two rc cars which i haven't ran in probably 15 20 years but and then there's a little three horse briggs just needs a spark plug i believe Oh, and one last thing. <clears throat> Besides being a wreck in here, brand new toolbox. And you know what's cool about this toolbox? Is it's full. Oh, let's, see. let's see, that's all standard. That's all metric. different stuff hammers socket stuff sockets and extensions tape rivets different pliers snap ring pliers spark plug pliers picks and chisels and the top part and then my old toolbox I just converted it more to it's got all that electrical stuff in it I hadn't put anything in these two drawers yet but there we go that's the shop in its current condition there's the old uh, chaos garage sign flying proud <laughs> and let me know if you want to see some videos on anything specific <laughs> all this stuff needs to be fixed except the uh, Kodiak over there which is badass but let me know what you want videos about and uh we'll see you soon on chaos garage i've already edited three other videos that i never posted so i might post those but let me know what you want to see all right see ya